now we see the elements of a market since we know what is a market we said market is a place where buyers and sellers meet and transact now let's understand what are the characteristic what are the elements what are the features of a market first we require two parties in the market a buyer and a seller without a buyer and a seller a market is incomplete rather it won't exist so these two parties a buyer and a seller are imperative for the existence of the market because if there won't be buyers sellers won't be able to sell at the same time if there won't be sellers from whom would the buyers buy unless the transaction of buy and sell happens we cannot call it a market so market is a function of buyers and sellers next product or a service product or a service now it's quite understandable that the buyers and sellers in the market would transact about something would sell the sellers would sell something and the buyers would purchase something that something is the product of the market so when we say there is a market it has to be about some product like a market about banking products market about deodorants market about toothbrushes market about pens so when i talk about market it has to be about some product at least one product needs to be there services also can be there we generally tend to limit ourselves to products but markets also can have services there can be a market of services also services like the financial services the banking services insurance in itself is a service education so we have a market for all this so market can be about both services and products but one of the two needs to be there to call it a market next bargaining for a price now when we go to the market we don't blindly purchase it whatever the price tag is there on the product we do not purchase it on that price we tend to bargain for it the consumer would try to get the best deal possible in terms of minimizing the price of the product at the same time the seller would try to maximize his profits by by charging a higher price so there's always a fight between the consumer and the seller in the market now this is not a real fight it's it's just in terms of getting the benefit the consumer tries to get the benefit on his side the seller tries to get the benefit on his side so there's a constant bargaining going on between them and then finally they settle at a price which is mutually agreeable to both and thus the transaction happens so bargaining is one of the important features of a market especially the market in markets in the developing countries like india next knowledge about market conditions both the buyers and the sellers generally tend to have a good amount of knowledge about the market conditions especially the sellers because they are the ones who are in the market to sell the product so they need to in, so they need to know in and out about the market at the same time buyers are also there to purchase the goods so to make sure that they get the best deal they also need to have the information about the market conditions like the price of the product the various sizes or the colors which the sellers are offering the various services along with the product like after sale services the sellers are offering maybe in terms of guarantee or warranty or maybe something else like a scheme you know it can be anything 
so buyers need to have this knowledge at the same time sellers also should know what is the cost price to the other competitors what is the price that the competitors are charging if they do not have this knowledge they won't be able to market the product in the market they won't be able to sell it so it is important for both to have a good amount of knowledge about the market conditions finally one price for a product or service at a time market is where the transaction happens buying and selling of goods happens and when you buy a product you buy it at a price when you sell a product you sell it at a price and the bought price and the sold price both are the same so we can say that a product has one price in the market at a time at the time when it is bought or sold so a product has a single price when it is bought or sold 